It all started with this water pump back in the 1800s. But this western section of Henrico County has taken on a drastically different look. During the past five years, more than 1,500 houses have been built in this six square mile area. With them has come commercial growth, and lots of it. Shore pump has been on the edge and is now being developed. Um, and that is um, sometimes difficult to, for people to accept, um, but we need to just plan for the uh, best organized pattern of, of growth that we possibly can. County planners say these businesses are needed to support the demands of new residents. This 45-acre Walmart site now includes only a store, but soon it will have a 112,000-square-foot shopping center next to it. And just across the street near this bank, there are plans for another strip mall. I think it's great to see, grow, you know, to see an area that really was nothing, now it is something. It makes life a lot more convenient as far as I'm concerned because I don't have to travel so far for the car wash, for gasoline. The growth has also brought a need for new schools like this $17 million short pump middle school. And road improvements are also a necessity to accommodate traffic. Broad Street will soon be widened to six lanes and eventually the John Rolfe Parkway will dissect this community. But there are nostalgic signs that life is still the same here in short pump despite this housing boom. And no one knows that better than this area's lifelong residents. Things is very good in Short Pump. I'm proud to be living in Short Pump. But nothing to people should be. It's far from being rural now, but it's still a good place to live, and, and I wouldn't move away from here. There's no doubt that this fixture has stood the test of time. During the next few years, however, we will see more houses built, more shopping areas, and even a major roadway. But according to the honorary mayor of Short Pump, no matter how development touches this area, living here will always be paradise. In Short Pump, Suzanne Kennedy, WTVR, News 6.